Hide the pearl. Bring it out. Political. All right, everybody, everybody ready. Mm -hmm. Probably one of the fastest we've ever gotten ready. Gotten this show started. Okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Bears and Dragons, uh, where a bunch of us nerdy ass bears sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. Thank you very much. All right, previously, uh, what happened with the Wayfaring Strangers? Well, we've been gone for two weeks, so let's see if we can remember. Um, we went back into the tunnels to try and find the Dragon Egg. I know that much. Uh, we begin some additional Let's quests. And... Yes. Uh, we've been gets, given some additional quest logs. Um, returning, uh, bringing some merchandises to uh people in. Oh. Um. Blindenstone. Mm -hmm. I, I had to pull up the map quick. Remember where it was. Remember the name. Um, some it looks like some like uncut rocks. What I lost happened? my notebook. Oh no! Need to make notes in other places. It was like um, gems and stuff that like uncut that uh, could be made into fell gems. Yep. All. Aren't there usually like note note apps on like computers? Yeah, like there's word. Yeah, there's or just Notepad. I found Notepad. Yeah, or there is this thing on D and D Beyond. Um, there's a note section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Click it. And... I usually. Uh, type stuff that's like important to uh, Lassiter in there. Or, 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 or you could also just open a Google Doc online. That's what Cubby's been doing for our Monday campaign because a lot of us are doing like online and stuff. Because we found out it's really nice is through the uh, counter builder. If everyone puts in their stuff on the campaign, when it rolls initiative, it auto generates everything. So we've been doing um, some stuff online. Rolling dice in person, but uh, the encounter online. Yeah. yeah, character sheets online. Doing Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Yay! Dungeon crawls. Dungeon crawl. Mega, mega, mega. A lot of stuff in there. Mega ura o. Yeah, like a death tyrant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is just one of the things. Yeah. We just know because we um, went to our LGS and bought uh, one of those boxes that you get like four or five um, painted minis mm -hmm. for a set. And we, they had the Dungeon of the Mad Mage. We bought one. And the big one for it was a death tyrant mini. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, I'm like, we're gonna go up against that. Fuck. Stay back. Just stay back. I mean, in th in theory, the idea is you first go through um, Waterdeep Dragon Heist, mm -hmm. then you go dungeon building into Dungeon of the Mad Mage, and it goes up, 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 up. I think it goes up to seventeen or twenty. Twenty. Uh, Dungeon of the Mad Mage is 5 to 20. Yeah. It's the only module that goes to 20. I just don't want to deal with trying to balance that. Anyways, here we are. We have Holly. 
Holly, Gage, uh, Karad, Lassiter, and Syra. Syra sent off Sova. Uh, did a little scouting. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, the, the... Sova, per se, is my arcane eye. But... Oh, oh, yeah, sorry. arcane eye. We're just using Sova as a template. That's right. Um, yeah, and we uh, found out. Don't go north. No. No. Spiders. Bad. Um, all the arcane I ran across was uh, just a little crawler thing. I thought they came across some king spiders. Oh, that was behind you. You went past yeah. it. Yeah, like up yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. Don't go north on here. Uh, from where you are, going northeast. And I'm, I'm way up here. With uh, my eye. I'm still in the tunnels. Secret tunnel. Uh, Karat, do you know any? You don't know anything about uh these tunnels, right? No, I. Yeah. Nor say with the, I, I don't leave the keep that much. Um. Every once in a while for a pint and stuff, but never been here. Not very uh, social person, are you? It, it's not that I'm not so yes, but I, the fact there's also them in charge takes a lot of attention. You see him. You've seen him, right? He, he, he needs a lot of attention. Do y'all clean him? Let's not talk about that. <laughs> he seems like someone that might need help cleaning himself. He uses a rag on a stick. <laughs> Lucky when it's a rag on a stick. Old Simpsons reference. Oh, shall we continue? Oh, I'm moving my eye. The whole oh. time, I'm just kind of... <laughs> Scanning along slowly until well, can, I'm told to stop. Can we uh start moving downward? Do you, do you think that's safe? Uh, well, I did not look downward yet, but if you'd like to do that, well, I'm still moving north. And I've come well, to a small dead end. I don't want to move until everyone uh feels safe enough to go. Is there anything in this room? Mm, there seems to be a dead end. There's a little bit of fungus there. Some fungus. Okay. Not not to the extent of like the pygmy work stuff, just normal cave stuff. So would you guys rather me scout south this scout scout south now or keep going north? South would be good. That's where we're supposed to Blade. go, right? Okay. Let me just take my eye and we. Honestly, you don't know where you're. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> I put go south on the chat, so <laughs> that's what I'm going off of. <laughs> and I know nobody can see the eye, but as it passes by me, I just kind of wave to it like, hey, there it is. And we. It goes again. You wave to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I look, I look marvelous. Is that... You for for some reason, as as you're standing there, Cyrus kind of in her, her like is, and all of a sudden she starts striking a pose for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> the best selfie stick ever. Uh, it, it it lasts for a few minutes, and then she's like, "Oh wait, <laughs> I'm just kidding." Okay, and then she kind of like uh, starts her her face kind of. Starts going towards the south. From now on, the semantic components of this spell is voguing. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time, she's just madonna the whole time. Just vogue, vogue, vogue. <laughs> like, what the hell are you doing, Sarah? All right, let's yeah. see. We're going northwestish. And northwestish. More of a west. And now 
Alright, Hulk. I'd like to believe that I'm just keeping watch while we're just standing here. I'm against this wall, just sitting. I'm. Well, as I'm searching. I mean, as we're searching, we can kind of move towards where we know is at least relatively safe. Okay. Because then I haven't seen anything going down and west. Cool with that. All right. So here, the glow of uh, of Pharaoh's Res shifts across this chamber as if pushed by an unseen wind. It flows towards and around a large mesa and continues to spiral upward, but the ceiling of this, the cavern is too dark and high to see. The murmurs and whispers coming from atop the mesa grow louder as you approach. Its stacked levels resemble steps in a staircase. A ramp running from top to bottom provides an easy way up. So as she'll start moving, well, she sent her eye and then stop and look back at the rest of the group. I, I think I may have found a, a group of people whispering on, on some sort of plateau. Let me see if I can... Do they seem friendly? I... Can I hear what they're saying? At the top of the mesa, you hear the rhythmic clank and the roar of Grackle Snug's forges. Um, uh, you do hear a low rumble. Uh, might be the displeasure of a uh, uh, thick uh, uh, red dragon. You hear mad screaming of hero. And you get a few pieces of, of snatches of conversation. It's kind of noisy like, here. Sounds like there's some big commotion to the to the to the west. Something about Darrow and possibly the displeasure of a red dragon. What? But kind of sounds like something that we should go towards, maybe. All right. Well, it's it's a little further to the west, so we we definitely need to check this out. Yeah, these are just like hints of things you can't really make out of anything. It's like a bunch of noise. Should we should we possibly start stealthing? Uh, I would say we have a little distance to go, but we're, we're going the wrong way. Yeah, go, go left. Lassiter, where are you? I'm right here. Oh, um, 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 um what's his name? Forcat is with me. And... Yeah, I'm just assuming everybody's together. Yeah. Okay. So if you can see right. Vorcat, cat, that's me. Okay. So I would say start stealthing now-ish. Hey, we're only a stealth check. Visibility. Uh, uh, Karad just disappears. Okay. Well, uh, he didn't seem very reliable anyway. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, 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 oh, right here. Oh, okay. Cool. I was about to ask you where'd you go. <laughs> As I'm oh, going, oh, to very loud. And Crad would essentially be uh, would be with advantage because. As we're stealthing, I'm just trying to uh, keep a watch, not watch, but uh, make sure I don't step on Karad's toes or something. The 
Let's just call him. You know, Despite his armor, uh, uh, I mean, Crad, you, you really just have no idea where he is. Uh, but uh, everybody seems to be kind of like stumbling around or kicking some rocks. Gage seems to be really stealthy, despite the fact that he's wearing heavy armor. Well, the one wearing light armor is <laughs> well, almost the worst. But... Like, shh, be very, very quiet. <laughs> Never mind the plus seven in dexterity, but okay. <laughs> or in stealth. So, make my way around. So I know the eye can see and hear anything, but can I hear anything or see anything? Nope, I, in the corner? Um, as you're cl uh, just looking at it, it's just this ramp that goes up. Looks like it has just like concentric circles. There, that are going up along the side, but there's that ramp that you can just climb the mesa with. Mm, you do hear hear the sounds. You see this kind of of uh, of. Uh, 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 ethereal mist kind of moving around as if being blown by some unseen wind as the air is coming. Does it seem like it was coming from this direction or up here? Uh, it seems to be blowing up into. Is this going downhill or uphill? Uh, uphill. So. Uh, can't really see over here because this is blocking. This. Right. Okay. Um, is there is there a hole in the ceiling where this mm, wind is coming from? You're not seeing anything. Uh, is there anything over there, uh, Sire? None that I see, just this movement of air, but I can't tell from which direction. And you do see a bunch of mushrooms and they crack in the wall where yeah. you've seen this type of thing. Yeah, just a... Can I go, like, start uh, tiptoeing over here, like up here? Mm hmm. There's nothing stopping you. Cool. Um, I mean, y'all don't have to follow me, but like, well, in case you, you know, need help or die. <laughs> uh, I, as you get to the top of the, the chamber, you start hearing just just a bunch of noises, as if everything, any possible noise from. Uh, Grackle Stug could be be hurt uh, or going off at the same time. You could hear basically anywhere in Grackle's uh, clanks of hammer, roar of which sounds like the uh, your, your dragon friend. Uh, some screaming of what you would expect to be like some sort of arrow. Some different conversations happening, but it's all just like a jumbled mess. It's just a storm of noise. In fact, uh, I would definitely say as you get up to the top, um, it's so much noise that if you just speak at a normal volume, you wouldn't necessarily be able to hear. Oh, well, um, I'm saying weird. You can pretty much hear everything, but I don't know if you can hear me. Nobody else can hear. You could barely even hear yourself. Um, I'm going to go farther in. Do, do, do. Like, I, I want to get to, like, the dead center. Mm -hmm. Does it, like, do get louder? or? It, it, by the time you got up to it, it, it started getting louder and then got louder as you went in. But just a few feet from the top of the ramp. Uh, it, and as you continue on, it seemed to stay in a volume, which is just a cacophony and noise. Pretty weird. Uh, can I 
like find figure out where the sound is coming from uh give me a perception check it is kind of uh ferris res misty up here it seems to be like swirling around um you, you think it's coming from a mist Uh, uh, I'll, I'll go back over to Thyra. No, uh, I'll, I'll first try yelling out, Syra, can you hear me? Uh, Syra, make me a perception check with disadvantage. Well, technically, since my arcane eye is, like, next to him. Okay, no, no, you probably would, uh, be able to hear it. It, it. It doesn't sound like a yell. It sounds like he's talking at a normal volume. She'll 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 hear you, but she'll just kind of like nod and she'll try to call out to you, but it gets lost in all the noise. Yeah, pretty much. And she'll kind of like uh, wave you back, like come back this way. I, I can't, you know. She'll like put her hand up to her ear, like you know, I I can't. The, the... I'll move my eye back over here because. I probably don't want to listen to that bunch of screaming noises either. <laughs> it gets quieter. You can still hear it, it's just not as loud. Right. Uh, uh, where's Karad? She'll point down south. Uh, you don't know where Karad is. Over here. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, he is invisible. He's invisible. <laughs> um, Orgo magic, bitches. Uh, okay. I'll just stare at a wall and say, Karat, there's a, there's mist up there, and I feel like the, uh, it, it would be easier if you came with me, um, or went up there yourself. I, I don't really know. But, uh, yeah. Come on. No, 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 no I'm good. I'm good. No, no, you're, you're good? No, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, okay. But there, there's something up there. Okay, Syrah, you're magical. Let's go. Indeed, but... Uh... <laughs> what are you waiting for? Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Can you hear me? Barely. Yeah, you guys have to scream to... or yell to, to even uh, talk to each other. You think if you... Uh, you know, listen closely, and you might be able to hear something, but, but like actually make out something. But everything is all jumbled. You can't get like the specifics of anything unless you actually like try to focus. Um, well, coming up here, you can pretty much hear everything, but like nothing really. Uh, I feel like someone might be using this to like spy, possibly. You know, I, don't I really could try to detect some sort of magic, but it would it would stop my arcane eye from working. Oh, well, that's probably not a good idea then. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, not too too bad the cleric doesn't didn't prepare to detect magic. Hey, I'm a cleric. <laughs> Do I have to detect magic? Oh, did you prepare it? I guess it's just a level one spell, so. Yeah, detect magic. Um, yeah. There you go. I'm sorry. I I totally just forgot all about D and D. Wow. Oh, pass detect magic. All right. Are you doing this as a ritual, or are you using the spell slot? Ooh. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, I. Have never cast anything as a ritual. Um, what's the difference between casting it as a ritual and non not ritual? Well, if, ritual if you does not if you just use a spell it. slot, uh, uh, it, it it has whatever it's uh, uh, how long it's it's for. So if it says it's a, it takes an action, just an action in six seconds, and boom, you activate it. If 
you cast it with this ritual, it takes 10 minutes longer. Uh, but does not expend the spell slot. So you can take 10 minutes plus whatever thing. I can't remember if uh, it's just an act. Um, and uh, cast it and not worry about expending a spell slot. But this one takes longer. That's it. But okay. they have the same effect. I'll yell at Syrah. Uh, let's let's go back down there real quick. We need I might need to talk to a uh, rat again. Okay. Wherever he might be. A little noisy, but a little softer now that you're you're down from the mesa. You still hear the sounds, but it's quieter. You can speak normally. Uh, Karad. Um, yeah. So I can cast a spell to detect magic. Cool. Here. Um, 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 I was thinking that uh, during my 10 minute casting time, <laughs> y'all could possibly go ahead and like scout. Um. I guess. Unless y'all feel like waiting. I, I see a, I do see a passage leading down this way. You see what else is around the corner. Well enough to go through the passage without having to eat a pygmy wart want to. Okay, well um I'll be up here. Up here. And huh. see y'all well, apparently. Up. This tunnel just goes back to where we came from before, so. Now we know I'll that. start ritual casting the tech magic. Everybody kind of sits around. Uh, I'm assuming they there's a possibility they might have heard, heard a little uh, munching of something from uh, Karad's position, or what you would assume to be Karad's position because you can't see him. How long does your visibility last? Is it the full hour? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's just regular visibility. I just get yeah. to do it once per long rest because I'm a Druger. Yeah. I'm assuming you're using some of your Druger's. I was a Vogan. Um, Lassiter. <laughs> and uh, Lassiter, you're, you're doing your ritual. You have your eyes closed during it, and then the spell activates, and you open your eyes. And you see these, more clearly now, these wisps of magic uh, that seem to, to be pushed by some sort of un, uh, unseen wind that lead to the top of the mesa. Uh, when looking up towards the top of the mesa, you see this like whirlwind of just streams of different rainbow colors of, uh, of magic. And I try to focus on like a specific wind. I don't know. Um, give me a perception check. Yeah, you're not sensing any actual wind. Just it looks like it's being manipulated by that. Or something, I, I meant, but uh, any of the wisps, you can kind of make out. Like you can kind of see, like there's this blue, light blue stream that go, that kind yeah, of that, like disappears from sight from where you're. Oh, wait, you're on on the top, and you can just look around, and it just kind of like weaves across the mesa in this torrent of magic. It's very blinding. It's just, you're sur surrounded by magic. You can't even see the edge of the maze. I, I, I don't think it's a thing, but uh, Lasso would try it. Uh, is one, is a wisp, do any of the wisps come close enough that I could possibly try to grab one? Sure. I'll try to grab a random one. It, you go to grab, and it's just like uh, mist, and just kind of 
goes right through your fingers and just it's some freaky shit. <laughs> it's definitely not something that's solid. Um, um well, I guess I'm done here. Uh uh can I do a like a investigation check real quick? Well, what are you looking for? Yeah, I don't I don't really know, so no, never oh. mind. I don't have good brains. Sarah. I, I would say that you would be able to tell like these different wisps of, of magic. They're all the rainbow colors. Each one is basically emanating a different sound. Yeah, I, I, I got. You don't. You can't distinguish them, but that's what you could tell. I understand that each wisp is a. Uh... Oh. At some point, did you say a wisp is supposed to be a different person? A different sound. Because not everything that's that's you're hearing up there seems like it's actually like a person talking. It's just some sort of sound based off of what you can make out and you can't really make out anything like specific about it, but you can kind of get like it's it's like a cacophony of all the sounds of Grackle Stew con concentrated in one place. Right, right. Yeah, I don't... I got everything that I could get, I guess. Uh, I'm done. Uh, nothing really that I can uh, discern up there. It's just a lot of sounds, a lot of colors. <clears throat> it's still an interesting phenomenon if it's possibly natural. These wisps uh, are something that belong down here. Your name's correct. Actually, Lasser, can, can can you quickly uh uh what's your sanity score? That's roll twenty stuff. Uh, oh. Coming up. As soon as it can. Zero. Eleven. Okay. Uh, roll me a wisdom saving throw. Okay. I like those. I always pass those. Hey, you're good at I don't like, but... Yay, I failed! <laughs> I think. Uh, that meets it, beats it. <laughs> I never... I never fell these. I want to go insane! All right. Lazarus would just be that one that once it place. goes insane, just like kills everyone in their sleep. Just, I mean, I don't, I don't want to. I, I just want to experience something. <laughs> I want to know what I feel what something. It is. You've already experienced someone walking into the lake to kill themselves. Yeah, but I still pass that check. But you still experienced it. Whatever. Uh, yeah, guys, there's nothing up there that I can see. Well, anyways, has anyone checked behind this place? Like the? No, I'm good right here. Right. I was gonna ask you, Karat. Uh, yeah. Do you know anything about this thing? This well spring of down. No, because I've never been down here before. I understand that, but maybe your people would have said anything. Maybe no, nothing. Cool. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, like, should I do a history check? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not a damn thing. Nope. Mm -mm. You, you, you know, your your people just really never told you much. Very single mind driven. You should probably get out out more, man. Well, 
<laughs> You're doing that now. Speaking of getting out, let's get let's get out of this place. This is Agreed. creeping me out more than anything. Okay. Uh, did you? I'm back up to which can. Let's go. Yeah, this the, to the left is just another way back to the tunnels we were already going through. Okay. Can we? I would say you've been here, been in here for a couple hours. Oh. Well, if we've been here for an hour, then my eye goes, boop. No. It's gone. Just go blind in one eye. <laughs> As we're walking by this slogan. Oh, <laughs> I'm done. I am no longer modeling. <laughs> well, from here on, we, we travel... Uh, Somewhat blinded, but bend your finesse. Forecast, do you feel like scouting? He, he just looks at you and just kind of gives a shrug, starts flapping forward. Uh, well, I can't, I can't see through his eyes unless I concentrate, right? Yeah. Yeah. You will yeah. be blind and deafened. Yeah, I mean, you you could just like put your hand on Gage's shoulder and you can just guide you through. Can just you do that? Just just piggyback on Gage or Holly. <laughs> um, be piggybacks on Gage. I'm telling you wrong. <laughs> oh my mom. I mean. It, it, they, while the ground isn't necessarily like very even, uh, it's it's even enough that walking around, well, you might lose your balance a little bit without being able to see or hear. Um, but if you're holding on to somebody, they can balance, rebalance. Well, Four cat is going along. Mm -hmm. Does he have the same sight as me, or? I don't think um, he does. Yeah, them are. I don't think I actually see. Extras. You have 120, right? Yeah, he... Yeah, um, hold on. Double sided yeah. location? Yeah, that that's mine, but, uh, like, does he share that when I... Uh, I'm gonna say he's uh, special. He has better. Okay. I'm fine with that. Hey, um, it might just be the map, but, uh, what's this dark spot? Blood. Uh, oh. Yellow. Yeah, this, this is a map. Okay. So you don't actually uh, see it, but if you had a map of this, probably would. Little food stand. Okay. Well, poor cat is going along. It's fine. Somebody was eating when they looked at the map. Just let me know when to stop. Bye. Going for just a second. Oh, yeah, yeah you're fine. Mm. Mushroom. Yeah, 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 this looks. Oh, no. I mean, I I can see that it connects, but yeah, I think I I think you guys like together at least I'm aware of it. The dense uh, fungi forest blocks your way. It's tall specimens growing some five feet high, even as you assess the best way to pass through. Starts rise like twenty. Understand. Um, I won't force four cat to go through there, but if he feels like he can, he just kind of like looks around and being like, get the feeling it's like, yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, he can come back. God damn it. 
Oh, yeah, sorry. It's all over here now. <laughs> it comes back to my shoulder. Uh, Does it seem safe? Uh, yes and no. Uh, we've been over there. Um, however, I'm not sure if it goes down anymore. So, uh, however, also, the four cat did not want to go that way. So, it's up to you guys. Y'all want to explore farther or what? Well, there, yeah. Well, we won't get anywhere staying where we are. We're already deep in here. Might as well. Let's go. Making our way there. Hey, boy, boy. You're going to have to just uh, get through your fears of bad places. Here we are. So the the mushrooms are are pretty thick. You do see some pygmy warts around here that, that might be able to get you a more easily traverse this little fungi forest. You hear some Have we heard this kind of sounds before. Um mm. Mm, I don't. Um, at some point, I was like on this side. I don't know if everyone else was. Um, so I I can see that this connects, but I don't know if anything is down here. Roderick's been through here. You do see uh, uh, coming through uh, the dense fungus uh, a swarm of centipedes. They do oh. not look very happy. Oh, no. Means I need everybody to roll me in. I'm just going to set four cat over here for. A bit. Natural 20. You want to roll? That does not matter. Yeah, it's probably a Um, I think Thyra has a better dex than me. What's your dex, sir? Which is... I well. have... I have... A plus four. Yeah, you, you, you go for first before me. Unless we're doing that natural 20 thing. That people do get. Oh. I prefer not acknowledging natural 20s for uh, initiative rolls. Okay. Uh... So I guess I'm oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Stop adding things when. No, it, 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 I'm not adding things. I'm I'm actually putting the. Oh. I'm actually putting the uh, correct things. Oh. That's not better when. <laughs> but it's correct. I, I, I it's it's not about whether it's better or not. It's about being correct in my position. Mm -hmm. 
and seeing a bunch of gross bugs hissing at me. I will. One, two, three. Yeah, just keep in mind that this this map has a lot larger range. Each of those steps are not five feet. Okay. Uh, I think oh. there are more. Think. Oh, they are five feet. Never mind. They're really tiny squares. So you're good. So continue. Seeing gross bugs hissing at her. So pull out her rapier and haya, haya, haya. For ten plus. Uh, I guess that was a. Redundant. So two plus ten. So twelve and then second attack. So that was twelve. Plus six. Eighteen damage. Twelve and red. Okay, cool. Uh, you wipe at him. Um, oh, there are a bunch of things, so they actually take as much damage as you could hope for because, or, but you do kill a few. Uh, like she'll slash at it with the, with the green flame and just see that there's still more underneath. It was, uh, oh, disgusting. Blaster. Yo. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I'm stupid. Um, I will just blast on uh this. Uh. Ah. On the. God damn it. This one. Yes. Yeah. Twenty-two to hit. Do I have two? Oh, yeah. Uh, Definitely hits. But, so I'm gonna hit that one for five mm -hmm. damage. Eh, I guess the it can take the second one. That's not gonna hit. I don't think. You shoot at it. it must be the creepy. Uh... Creepiness of a bunch of uh, worming insects. Okay, yeah, that's my turn. All right, Holly. Are you muted? Oh. Yes, I am. So she's going to run up and swipe that first one. Um, we're going to make this great weapons master. I'm just putting it as. Seventeen to hit. Seventeen will hit. 22. All right. So she goes and uh, seeing that it's a bunch of insects, she kind of turns her axe so that it's not going like by the blade, but she's hitting them with the flat and just crashes through them, splattering insect blood all over the place. Yeah. And attack number two on this one. Thirteen? Thirteen will hit. 
Um, it doesn't seem to do as much damage as she as she was expecting. But uh, did do did kill a few of them, even though she tried the same technique. Karad. So, as the centipedes came, you just hear a big old like scream come from Karad, and then all of a sudden, fireball. And it incinerates, incinerates the centipede. And then, um, you still hear some hissing sound. With like the invisibility god, you just see like Crad just like hunched over, just. <laughs> Gage uh, is going to have his, his sword up. Um, have his sword up and says, I don't think those are the only one. Uh, MPs are dead. And... I don't actively see anything. Yeah. At all. Popping up <laughs> next. Uh, next to uh, Syra is a swarm of spiders. No. Ew, 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 ew. Kill it with fire. Oh, wait. <laughs> Will do. Good idea, she says to herself. Hiya. Oh, okay. <laughs> Disgusted, she misses. <laughs> well, it's not her turn yet. Oh, it's not? No. Great. Sorry. So <laughs> go back where you were. Hiya. Yeah. And you don't really have to move. Uh, uh, Anywhere because they're all over you. <laughs> it's in my hair. <laughs> yes, the spiders swarm up on you. And they s start picking at you, but uh, uh, your frantic shaking is uh, avoiding their, their uh, bites. Uh, another set goes up on to Gage. Uh, ooh. Right. There we go. Uh, and he gets a chunk taken out of him. Ah, the problem with doing this on this map. I should have went to a different one. Uh, for 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 the battle. Oh, was that Gage? That's Gage. Okay. Nice old chunk is taken out of him. Zyra, you got some uh, spiders on you. Yeah, I'm just like, oh god, oh god, get it off, get it off. And then she will use her bonus action to. Two, 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 where'd it go? She's gonna misty step just a little bit, so just kind of they fall off of her. Boom, boom. <laughs> and as she nice. reappears, sword in hand, strikes down at these things. Let's kill it. <laughs> uh, Why is my name so big? Twenty-four. Because the map's so big, and we're zoomed in. That makes sense. Yeah. So, 12 damage there. 
Well, not as much damage as you, as you thought. You still do a good chunk of damage. Uh, but it seems your rapier, like, in and of itself, isn't doing much damage. It's like you're missing it, but the fire that's part of it is uh, uh, doing better. I see that the, as she's committed to her strikes and in mid-swing, she can't stop herself, so, yeah. 21, 7 piercing. Yeah, you, you kill a couple more. Ali, Gage, Lassiter, Parad, kill these things with fire. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> kill it with fire. I don't have any fire spells. <laughs> looks at the <laughs> looks at the flamethrower. <laughs> uh, Karad has an advantage. <laughs> Which are Karad's hands. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Lasser. Yeah, no no fire spells. I mean I have uh Sacred flame, but that's radiant. So, uh, Elgin Blast on. It's just force. Just gonna scatter yeah, it. This one. Uh, the one near Gage. On Gage. Yeah. All right. I would like you to make the attack at disadvantage because they're actually on Gage. I just moved them apart so I could click them. <laughs> uh. Okay. Well. Never mind. I didn't know it, they were on gauge. Um, uh, he can take it. He's got yeah. a bunch of hit points. He's got in, got in high enough, enough AC. I'm sorry, Gage. Elder Blast. Uh, disadvantage. Eleven. Eleven. Um. You, you're trying to be careful and not hit him, and uh, uh, just your your bolts go wide. Second one. That was a nat twenty, but uh, nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, you are able to to hit off a few of the uh, uh, spiders and and, and uh, roll the damage. Problem, so good chunk of the spiders. All right, a lot well, less spi as, spiders on Gage. As it hits him, uh, does does it hit Gage at all? Uh, you were able to uh, get precision enough that you were able to just hit the spiders. Okay. You probably felt like a uh, the force of it, but not enough, not anything that would do. That's my turn. Yeah, his armor's class is 20 anyway. Holly! Um... Please, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna try to hit the fighters that are engaged. All right, uh, do an attack with disadvantage, unless she doesn't want to uh, uh, take the disadvantage, then she can make a normal attack. But mm, All right, so the team easily hits. Go ahead and uh, roll damage. Be able to start sweeping off some of the spiders. Still some left. No, not as much. We're going to try again. Okay. All right, she's trying not to to hit hit Gage, yeah. 
uh, she ends up with him. Uh, and there's just not many of them, so. Precision isn't working. Age? No. Mine. Oh, that's right. Eh, there we go. Crod. Uh, Rad. Wrong. Yeah, might as well, because they're going to... So I'm going to use... What is that? Let me double check how many. I'm going to uh, spend one sorcery point and do a careful casting of Thevercharge's Blaze. Um, Gage, Polly, and Cyrus. It's Arcanzer Scorcher that I just redubbed. Okay. Um, uh, Gage, Polly, and Cyrus automatic automatically succeed. Okay. Um, so I just need the spiders to make a deck saving throw. Those swarms are... Uh, 16? They meet it, so they'll take half as well. Okay. So, uh, the, uh, spiders on gauge as the, uh, uh, fire just se seems to just Caress him. Not doing any damage. Uh, go away. Well, automatically succeed, so. Yeah. He, he does so everyone take. takes 11. And then. The other ones. Uh, 12. I'm assuming that does not make it. No. So okay. it's a 22. All right. So that's spiders. Oh, I believe that's all the spiders. Spiders are burned away, but there is still some hissing. Uh, sorry, sorry for the. I, I I tried to get y'all the least amount of heart, but th it was the only way to get them all at once. No, please, I. Um, <laughs> anything, I'm thankful. <laughs> did I miss a check? No. It was only nope. a straight line. Okay. Yeah, it was just 30 feet. So. Gage, uh, in his typical fashion, goes, I think there's still some creatures afoot. Oh. And a swarm, just as a uh, swarm of uh, centipedes starts crawling all over him. Something is on your foot. Look out. <laughs> the call's coming from inside the house. And you start making some. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what the hell? Piercing through his armor. <laughs> You're just crawling inside it. <laughs> crawling in his skin. Oh. All right. So he takes. Um, all right. Zyra, you see Gage is like, ah! As uh, some centipedes start crawling out onto him. Him, or set him, no, set him on fire. So I will try to concentrate directly onto the swarm. 
He's a lost my cause. My mind blasts. And that's um, mind sliver. Um, let me let me let me see that spell description. Okay, okay, good. This is what a uh, intelligence saving throw. Uh, yeah, yep. uh, fourteen. Wow, that's pretty good. <laughs> That it's not it doesn't really do much. Uh, so you see a couple of the centipedes start falling off. Yeah, it's check one d four from the next saving throw it makes. So Lassiter, or Grab yeah, that was a spell. Shun. So yeah. yeah. Grapple it and throw it against the wall. <laughs> Did Gage take damage? Uh, yes. Out of uh, 74, he's like at 21. Oh, shit. <laughs> he's taking two crits. Oh. Um, poor Gage. Um, 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 um. You said how, how much health is he missing? The uh, uh, 74 minus 21, so about 50, uh, 53. Okay, well, uh, um, I will cast Cure Wounds at a second level. Let me go up to him. Oh, crap, yeah, Cure Wounds. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's spell. Sorry, two weeks, I'm sorry. Um... Right there. Oh shit! Actually, I how much is that? Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure you're fine. I'll go, uh, yeah, right there. I don't want to be in. See, uh, the the centipedes are actually on him. I just put the token beside to him. Side. <laughs> oh, I, I was worried about being in um, Karad's line. I mean, there right now. There's only one enemy. He seems afraid and might do anything. So yeah, you're you're within cone. It's fine. Nineteen. No. What's nineteen? Age is doing a little better. Uh, and I believe. Yeah, I don't I think you have any I bonus have, actions. Yeah, I have a um, healing light. Oh, yeah, there you go. Um, I'll it's an do ability. Three, 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 three d sixes. Okay. God damn it! Oh, four. Okay, cool. We got all right, cool. Additional seven. That's not bad. Yeah. Well, I suppose with the one, but that's okay. It's fine. Fine. All right. Holly. <laughs> Swing your axe and engage his flesh. Uh we're gonna do a careful <laughs> attack. That's all she can do. I mean, she could recklessly attack. That's fine. True. Yeah, let's let's reckless and just make it a straight uh, throw. Couldn't we like try to just you know swat the things off of him? What do you think I'm doing? Oh, I thought you were trying to use your axe. Yeah, use my <laughs> axe to swat them off. No. <laughs> I mean, what are this is this is very Holly. I'll save the day. Oh, that's a crit fail. Okay. So. 
she swings oh, her axe and is meaning to do the the like she's been doing with the 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 flat side of her axe, uh, but she misjudged her swing and it ended up being more of a, the blade uh, and hits Gage for thirteen points of damage. Gage is like ah. <laughs> Brad, I, I just thought there is something Gage probably could have done. I just hadn't thought to do it before, but yeah. Second like wind, dog dropping. Away. Well, no, not just that. There's something else. He, I mean, each of his turns, it's more of all of the, all the creatures are dead, <laughs> but there's something else here. Crad. Um. We're going to specifically uh, do a... Firebolt. At them. Okay. Mr. Vanier's on the attack. Unless he doesn't care. Seems like a nice guy. Roll damage. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you go to shoot, but like the the centipede that your your aim centipedes that you're aiming at just kind of like a, have scurried around to another part of uh, Gage's body, and it hits him square in the square in the chest. And Gage takes another four points of damage. Uh, Gage being like ah, and he's going to um, copy pace. Come on, okay, that's not working. Oh, his shadow. He's going Trace to place. manifest uh, echo. Switch uh, <laughs> and. Um, all of a sudden, the shadow uh, forms up about 15 feet away. And all of a sudden, they just seem to have swapped pl places. I'm just letting y'all know, that was one damage away from how much I healed. <laughs> all right, centipedes are going to attack the echo. I don't know any better. Where are they at? Where are they at? Where are we going? Uh, they don't seem to do anything to, to the Echo. Syrah! Well, I have an idea. They're not on... It, it looks like Gage, but it's more of like the shadow form of Gage. And you see like a non-shadowed form of Gage about 15 feet away. <laughs> yeah. So I have an idea. It's not really going to be a permanent... Eh, fuck it. Unfortunately, is I only have one fire attack unless i want to nuke everything with a fireball which i don't i never said i i said that the fire had effect i didn't necessarily say it had an extra effect it's just your blade didn't do as much damage as the fire did and you notice that lassiter's eldritch blast seemed to to be just as effective as a normal eldritch blast I, I would say you would be able to do to do, okay, uh, because the the physical bludgeoning, piercing, slashing they have resistance to, but uh, everything else they don't. Even though we have magic weapons, they're still resistant to it. Yep. Okay. It, it's it's because they're so small. No, I get it. 
that they don't end up not doing as much damage. Well, have you tried ever tried that? Never mind. That's something I shouldn't say on 22 or Twitch. Go on. <laughs> Is it the it literally lists it as bludgeoning, piercing, slashing. That's it. Mm -hmm. um, if it was just non magical weapons, it would say bludgeoning, piercing, slashing from non magical attacks. That's all good. I'll just so that's how I'm interpreting it. I'll I'll keep kebabbing them as much as I can. Okay. Uh, you have seen Gage do this before. You know that this is uh, what might be referred to as an echo of Gage. So. It probably only has like one hit point. <laughs> he shadow cloned himself. Yeah. Yeah. So 26 for 11 piercing, 8 fire. All right. And. Yeah. Okay. And the. Um, Because you did that at advantage instead of as a straight roll, uh, you did also hit the echo with the attack, uh, and it just pops out of existence, uh, along with uh, some fiery uh, remnants of centipedes. She she stabs through kebabs it and keeps going through the shadow, I'm like, <laughs> and then she remembers, oh, oh, never mind. Uh, Gage goes. Gage is going. Uh, uh, that's all right. <laughs> and she like, looks looks over to him like, "Ooh, okay." Ooh. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I think that one would have uh, dropped. Possibly. The health isn't listed right on here. I know I didn't want to expand. Some reason the health reset, but that's okay. There you go. Right. All right. Now he's like. You know, the the hissing the 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 chittering sounds seem to have this. I mean, to... well, it's trying to close the window. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Surprise round. <laughs> um, I will go to gauge and uh, cast uh, cure wounds at first level. Two times. Touch my body. Oh. Uh, yeah. yeah let, let's let's give him a little bit more. Cool. Mm. All right, guys. Let's. Let's uh, be a bit more careful. Um, yeah. Oh. You can just see her like tiptoeing, strafing, like back and forth, looking at her. Uh, it is it is very thick. So uh, to to even get through there, uh, you would have to. Uh, you probably would want to. Eat a pygmy or and drink down. It's thick with three C's. <laughs> that mushroom, uh, though. Let's start chomping. All right. What that good. mushroom do, though? I was just thinking that. All right. So uh, we're going to take a quick break here because I. Be right back. Uh, refresh beverages. After these messages.
I got some uh, new Skechers shoes. And I think they're better without socks. I actually swear by um, Crocs have tennis shoes now. I fucking love those things so much. Yeah. I'm on Team Skechers. So much that I've bought the same shoe twice over. Yeah, I've done that. In different styles. I feel like all of my all of my gay power has been taken from me today. Oh no. Shave for work. Now I'm back to baby face and I hate it. Master, let us know when you're back. Sorry. Just want to make sure everybody's back. All right, so you guys eat some mushrooms to get small? S M O L. Small. And we'll continue see carefully for any more now giant centipedes that be coming after us. <laughs> does the boar cat have to have to eat one, or does he just stay? Nah, yeah, he's tiny already. Okay. <laughs> so I'll make sure he's not on my shoulder. As I mom. You do see a bunch of uh, barrel stocks, blue caps, patches of fire lichen, night lights, Nilhog's noses, Nilhog's noses, excuse me, ripple bark, uh, masks, porch stocks, things of madness, Perlimux, and of course, a bunch of big wigs and pigmen. 
freaking great. No new ones? Nope. Darn. Okay. Um. All right. Let's let's get going. Do, 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 do. Uh, but Karat, um, my experience, some of these mushrooms are pretty nice to take home. Just saying. Like which which one? What, what what are you talking about? Like, um, uh, I don't know. Like this one, I, I point at um the tongue of madness one. I don't know what it's called, but it's pretty good in suits. Yeah, it looks uh uh somewhat like a large human tongue. Either that or the party, you know. <laughs> Good time for everyone. Yeah, nah, I'm gonna go and pass. Not your thing. Don't yeah. worry, we'll we'll find your thing. I got my stuff right here. I'm pat my pouch. Okay. Everyone has their own thing. All right. All right. Or am I oh leading the way? Presumably, Gage and Holly are with us, or around us, in front of us. I'll halt, everyone. Uh, Tunnel me. opens into a natural cave, where you see several fungal creatures dancing to a silent tune. Three of them stand five feet tall, while the others are half as tall. I don't know if you guys can see that, uh, but there's people over there, or things, I'm not sure. Fungal creatures, there's things over there. They they look very similar to uh, the little ones, at least. Look uh, a lot like, uh, you, remind you of uh, Stool. Uh, are they bigger than us at the moment? Uh, yes, unless you eat some big wigs. Yeah, we should probably eat some um, big mushrooms. Big wigs. Chomp. As her grows inside. Mm. Oh, and Holly um, and Gage probably do too as well. Point out which Goodbye. one's the big wigs to Karad. I wouldn't lie to you. You see Holly engage, at least engage in a minute. I'm sure Syra probably gets uh, grows back to her normal size. Uh, I'll never get used to this shrinking and growing. <laughs> All right. So uh, should we attack first or ask questions? I mean, they're... Is that what you guys normally do? Just attack first? I mean, they're just kind of dancing to their own little beat. Alright. Um, not it. No, what do you mean right, not I'll, it? I'll, I'll, I'll go. I'll, I'll introduce us, or myself, if that's okay with you guys. All right. I mean, they're just, they're kind of like stool, aren't they? Stools, stool's nice to us. What makes you think they're not? Hey, guys. <laughs> Immediately attack. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh. Hey, guys. Ah! Uh, after, uh, uh, Saying something. Uh, by the way, you do see uh, uh, some two creatures which look very similar to uh, 
uh, Prince Durandal, uh, except they're covered with this, like, yellow mold. What you listening to? And uh, uh, one of them uh, comes up and says, "Welcome, welcome, um, welcome to our troop. Uh, we're just performing here. We're attracted by the special mushroom. I'm also a." A uh, fellow connoisseur of these mus mushrooms. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, why? Why are y'all specifically here? Like, why not be up up top? Oh, we just came here through the ladies' dreams. The what? Ah, uh, she's a powerful being that loves and guides all of us, Mykonid. You would like? I can share the gift with you. No, thank you. Um, that kind of sounds uh, like a religion thing, and I already have my uh, being who I pray to. Oh, well, if you would see. Yeah, uh... Hey, y'all wouldn't happen to know anything about um, dragon eggs, possibly one being around here, or someone knowing anything about dragon eggs? Uh, no, we haven't been here very much. Where you come from? Why, we... We come from Netherlight Grove? I, I heard that's a nice place. Why yes, it is very nice. Oh, oh, we were guided here, as I said, through the lady's dream. All right. Well, um, me and my friends are just gonna pass by. Um, maybe, maybe, uh, we can meet again and uh partake in mushrooms together. Ah, if you insist. Alright. Well, but if you do decide that you wish to 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 take the blessing, I am willing to offer it to you. A gift from Our Lady. Out of curiosity, what, what is the gift? Sidebar that reference. I was probably the wrong person to talk, to be honest. Why, it allows you to stride through the mushrooms. Do oh, I? Through the mushrooms. Would I had, have uh, encountered any druids during my time in the army, military, whatever? Uh, roll me a history check. Uh, I mean, you probably ran, had, there were probably some druids, but something like this doesn't really sound like anything that you've ever really saw, or you just don't remember. Seems like a good time. However, as I said before, uh, kind of taken. I mean, it is welcome to share with anybody. Another time, maybe. Well, we will be here. Cool. And then he goes back, back to his troop, and they start dancing. 
cool over there. Y'all ready? Correct. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess so. Oh, what was the name of your lady, by the way? Why, she is the lady of the Mykonids. I'm not sure if it's necessarily pronounceable. Lycanids. Okay. Well, we'll just I mean, if, if, you, if you want to know more, you can roll me a persuasion check. A persuasion. He, he seems to be being uh, essentially ambivalent or uh, vague. Well, I mean, if you told us some more about about your lady, he he could be persuaded, persuaded, persuaded. Uh, she is known as Zuktmoy. Write that down. Yes, please. I think the T is silent. Where should I put this? Um, oh, there I guess. Oh, crap. I'm religious. Have I ever heard of Lady of the... Uh, the Lycanids? Of the Mycanids? I don't know. Like probably, probably uh, you could try. Certainly trying. Throw me a religion check. I mean, the first time you met a Mycanid was stool. A <laughs> natural one. Yeah, you have no idea. It's all new to you. Bahama is the only god. If anybody else wants to roll me a religion check. Religion. Okay. Uh, Syra, you've heard of Zuckmoy. You haven't really heard him as the lady of of uh, the Mykonids specifically. Like that title has never come to it. But uh, you do recognize uh, Zuckmoy is a demon princess, I suppose you could say. Normally, she's referenced to be an inhabited uh, area of the abyss. I'm sorry, she as she hears that name, she kind of like stumble back a little bit. Uh, excuse me, did I did I hear you correctly? As in, as in one of the the demon princesses. I have no idea what you mean. She is so kindly and and kindly to us, Mykonids. She loves and guides us all. Uh, how long has she been? How long has she been in contact with you? As long as I can remember. How far back can you remember? Would you like to partake in a gift? Uh, uh, I think I'll but, but I found that very interesting. So kind of like... <laughs> you could like, travel like, anywhere you wish in the Underdark with a gift. Uh -huh. And even beyond. Oh, well, and she'll kind of look down like, well, I have these, I have a pair of very strong legs that can take me anywhere I need, but... Ah, but this will be a faster travel for them. you. <laughs> no, no. Very well. Um, Very well. Let me go back to dancing. Inching back away. <laughs> like, no. No. <laughs> no habla <obla> common. <laughs> Ah, uh, bro, crazy. No. Can I can I insight check this guy? Yeah, sure. 
he seems a bit off his knockers. Uh, mm -hmm. um, knockers? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, you've had some... You've had some interactions with a Mykonid. I'm not sure if this is how all Mykonids do, or maybe they're different when they're adults. I mean, it still is an outgoing little little Mykonid. He gets excited. He's he's hap happy. He's uh, learned to, to be a druid uh, somehow. <laughs> and and he, he, he seems... It, it does seem a little off, but... You don't know if this is normal or not. He had too many mushrooms. He is a mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. What do you think of Mike and it is? <laughs> nope, that's not what I want to do. Uh, I want to There you go. Looks kind of like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, back to the thing. You see, it, you see that the two Quagos just kind of standing in the corner, looking kind of eyes kind of glazed over. You see another mushroom kind of like leaning against the wall with his arms crossed. Oh, there's more than just okay. Um, I'm I'm sorry. I I just got a bit interested in this. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. going back to what's his face. What I don't I don't think he gave us his name. Um, ah, uh, Vusper. Vusper. Who's for B V D O S? Uh, although I did D zero zero. No, that should be two O's. Whisper. Hey, Whisper. Uh, Whisper. What? Uh, are those two guys okay? Um, I point at. Oh yes, there's a there are servants. Don't worry about them. Servants. Okay. Cool beans. Bye. It's Domo. <laughs> Got to so, get out. As she passes, passes by Lassiter and, and Karaj, she's like, I think we need to get out of here right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> Engage in Holly. <laughs> Don't have to tell me twice. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> as she's walking, as we're walking away, she'll kind of tell them all about Zuktmoy. Princess? Wait, do I, do I have a thing? Uh, hold on a second. Maybe. Uh, um, um, I would say with the 21, you would know that she is the Demon Queen of Fungi, Lady of Rot and Decay, an alien creature whose only desire is to infect the living with spores, transforming them into mindless servants and eventually into decomposing hosts for the mushrooms, molds, and other fungi that she spawns. Sounds pleasant. It's good to have goals. <laughs> well... Those goals will never be a part of me. That I can assure you. I think Lassie so, just got turned off with mushrooms. Huh. <laughs> um. Yeah, so, let's go. From what we know of this, plus we had a sort of short uh, discovery about the what you call it? Oh my god, my brain just stopped. <sighs> this looks familiar. Never mind, I'll, I'll come back to it. Alright, as you come into that room. Yeah. I'm sorry, Sarah, were you saying? I see a carrying a crawler. I was, but then I... My brain just kind of stopped. Which uh, goes in attempts to attack you. Oh, no. Cool. <laughs> uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on one second. I need, I need to do something because this is just, just 
make my job a little bit easier. Uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna throw this to a uh, different map. <laughs> We're gonna follow yeah. Fancy. Yeah, just yeah. teleport to another place. Alien, alien crawler. So, pretty big. Oh my God, stools here. Uh, we're going to a different location. Uh, right. let me find you guys. Uh, we got uh. Do. Oh. Mm. Here we got objects broken, little lassers over here. It's not really. Silver's not there. Silver's not there. Negate. Just popped out of existence. Uh, you could put yourself in whatever you order you want at first. But you're over on that side carrying crawlers on that. Put yourself anywhere. Bye. <laughs> put myself away from here. That's fine. Have fun. Good luck. Hell no. Should no, no, no. That didn't work. Ten. There we go. Uh, just that, oh, that, that, that kind of be graphical, just kind of like. Yeah. Uh, I totally forgot that we were rolling initiative. All right. You just hear a crowd go, I'm tired of these motherfuckers, bugs in this motherfucking cave. You know what to do. Run. <laughs> all right. So really, uh, you, you walk into this part of the cavern and all of a sudden you're coming down from the ceiling. <laughs> This a uh, giant worm like creature. Rah! Uh battle music starts. Not the same, I but uh thin cloud in my pants. Okay. Yeah, your turn. No. Hey, I'm joking. I was joking anyway, so go ahead. <laughs> oh shit, okay. Um, we're gonna do scorching ray on it. Sure. So Means that's for... three blasts. Yep. So one hits. Two. Hits. Three. Hits. Just hit. So, one. Two. Three. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, is that ML elemental affinity every time, or... Yep, every single time I do fire damage, the five gets added. It's basically a agon uh, way to think of it as agonizing, agonizing blast, blast. Eldritch. Yeah. Okay. So. But it's just for anything that does fire damage. So how does Krad... Uh, what, so uh, explain what Krad's doing when he fires this, uh, squir the, these uh, Scorching Rays. Yeah. Oh shit, I did do a lot of damage just now. Yeah. <laughs> um, he's kind of like 
has like for for him I kind of see them almost like put like the his hands gets like fire wrapped around him and he just like throws it um almost like a, it looked like almost like fireballs but not really um, okay is that like screaming in terror or anything hell yes hell yes <laughs> they're like ah! <laughs> like Sheldon getting scared on Big Bang Theory, high pitched scream, slightly wetting himself. Is this a bug? Uh, I'm not sure. Is that a bug? <laughs> you tell us. Definitely a bug. I, I have oh, a feeling yeah. that this isn't going to last long, but it, you know, whatever. He's pissing himself right now. And at the end, he's going to press it to take that away. Uh, he can't, because that takes an action. I said at the end. I didn't say at what end. <laughs> All right. Seeing this big motherfucker, she's going to be happy. Going to run up here. She would like to rage. She bursts in, in a blast of of uh, water and, and bubbles start forming around her head. And I need a deck saving throw. There it is, save. Five. Oh, That'll hit. Fails. That is a fail. <laughs> Take one point to name. Fuck me. That's okay. She has, what, two attacks? She's yep. raging. And this first one? is going to be a great weapon master reckless attack. Reckless. Great weapon everything. master. Ah! It's just going to be everything. Okay. Good. <laughs> I knew with the minus five. She <laughs> gonna do it again because that really pissed her off. And it's emanating heat off off of it from the blast that Karad did. So there's a like, some steam from the water that burst out of her that kind of got into her eyes. Twenty one to hit. That'll hit. So twenty damage, or uh, yeah, twenty two damage. So hey. she goes. She she goes running up, bursts some water, the, the fire's still burning, and kind of some of the steam kind of gets into her eyes for a second, kind of throwing her off as she makes her first swing. She swings the axe, but but kind of shaking it off, she swings the axe back and chops its head off. Dead. If, if Holly uh, get vibrated enough, would she start like glowing, maybe. Yeah. Mm. Well, I, 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 I think it would take uh, the same amount of thing to like essentially melt a, a person through vibrational frequencies, but so it probably would take a lot. She is a. She is a water How dancing. overkill was that? Um. Mass eight. Technically still up because I read uh, elemental affinity is a little different. It it's almost like it. You add the plus five to one damage roll of that spell. Okay. So there's it still has two HP left. Yeah. Okay. It practically chops its head off, but it's still alive. It goes. Rah! So we're still in initiative order. Uh, so it comes back around. So um, let me get the music going. So I was right. It was only one spur. That's all right. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's see. And it's going to attack uh, Holly with a bite attack. Uh, nine piercing damage. 14. Is it 14 hit? It doesn't hit. Reckless. Uh, with 
with advantage. So 18. Yeah. So nine points of piercing damage. Four. And, uh, but yeah, I think those tentacles hit. Takes three points of poison damage. Uh, need her roll to uh, constitution saving throw. Um, you can ignore that. All right, beats it, beats it. So she's fine. Three, so it's three. What? Oh, I was redo. I was trying to remember how much was the poison damage. So I was trying to remember if she had um resistance to it, but it's yeah. acid or lightning. Okay. Uh, Lyra, are you gonna try to finish her off? finish it off. It's not looking too good. It barely survived the, the hacking slash from, from Holly. Just stuff behind Holly. Like and... somehow. She'll betray Holly and kill her instead. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Just... uh, yes, she will attempt to help her finish it. I think a sneeze will work. Yeah, she fins it, finishes it. Syra so just charges forward, the and stabs the uh, stabs the uh, creature right in the heart, heart, and this like flicker of blue and green flame bursts from the wound. Just a really mean look would have done it. Yeah, pretty much. There you go. Now, 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 now we're done. Oh, right, remove all turns. Like clearing that so I don't forget. All right, moving back to the big map. We did it. Uh, as you uh, finish the monster uh, popping up uh, popping a head out of the ground is uh, what looks to be a ethereal looking uh, uh, snorfeblin a deep gnome On. Yeah. Oh. Ah. There wasn't a terror around here, was there? I haven't seen him in a while. No, we haven't seen a terror. Ah. He's so good. Ah. Well. Ah. Uh, well, you see, um. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, thanks. Um, yeah. Um, not sure what to do okay? right now. Yeah, it... I'm dead, as you can see. Oh. Well, that sucks. Uh, yeah, um... I'm dead. Yeah, uh... Hey, um, uh, have you... Have you... Have you seen a Daron by the name of Bupito? No? Yeah, this uh, is familiar. Not the crab. What? Okay, I know you're undead, but I need to get closer. Uh, did you say Bupito? Yeah, Bupito. How do you know Bupito? Yeah, oh, well... I was traveling from Blingdenstone and uh, the fell in with him. He seemed like a nice guy and everything, but uh, well, um, he killed me not long ago uh, and then like chopped me into pieces and joined the other body parts to uh, the, uh, to the, that shrine. That makes uh, sense. And he points over uh, because in, in here, uh, you venture into a cavern of stenching uh, Rotting meat, the floors carpeted with humanoid remains in a variety of stages of decomposition. 
Arranged in a spiral pattern along the cave's center is an off-key humming. No, uh, arranged in a spiral p pattern around the cave center. Uh, and that's pretty much it. The rest of it I can't say because no. Plot. Yeah. Uh. How, how long ago was this? Um. I don't know. Hard to tell time. I've been stuck here. I'm hoping. I don't know. Might be able to leave. Uh, otherwise, I'm like haunting this place for no reason at all. Uh, I mean, I can try to pray you away. <laughs> What? I'm sorry. Um, what I know, or is there, you know, uh, what do you call it? Not exorcisms, but, um, sendings? Like how you, uh, how, how do you basically exercise maybe the ghost? Yeah, um, send them to wherever they're supposed to be. Uh, well, if you do proper burial rites, that can usually send a ghost away. Do you know where you got, uh, deaded? Um, here. I think, I think there are some parts in that pile over there. Okay, uh, <laughs> um, does anyone have any fire? Of course I'll have fire. I... You know what? I did see I did see that there was like for some reason one of my hands got animated and scuttled away through one of the uh, smaller tunnels. Okay. Yeah, you're on your own. I'm not messing with that. <laughs> yeah, you can recognize the hand because it has like this obsidian ring on it. it it's It's walking around by itself. Yeah. I don't know why, it just kind of happened. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> we'll talk about this among ourselves while you stay over there. Have you ever thought to go into Blingdon Stone? Because, uh, like, it's a great place to, like, like, you guys don't look like you're normally down here. Yeah, great, um, great, great. Except for, except, except for that uh, uh, Durgar there. Um, but, uh, I'm it, gone. Um, <laughs> that Dirk Arthur was there. <coughs> Excuse me. So you turn around and just Brad's gone. Just like <laughs> ah, ghost. Um, hey, yeah. If you know. if you see it, uh, if you do find the hand, if you could like uh, capture it or something, and then like take it to Lane and Stone, bury it. I'm. Uh, sure, that'll probably release me from whatever this is, because it's kind of looking at all the, the body parts. Can't really tell which one of these are actually mine. I've been here for a while, so this kind of like doesn't really bother me very much. Yeah, poor thing. Uh, we'll 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 be sure to look out for Han. Yeah, you do. See you, you do see it scattered around the floor uh, about 10 gold pieces, 11 silver pieces. There's also this damp piece of uh, lizard skin parchment um, with some dwarvish words on it. Hey, Karad, there's some dwarven stuff over here. No? Okay. <laughs> I mean, you can pick it up and take it to him. Is it close to him? Is yeah, it it's 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 like over here, but just in the chamber. There's, I, I'm describing things. I'm not actually moving anybody around the room to to like hear or anything. Because there's not really any danger at this point in time. Yeah, as long Good as way. it's not next to uh, 
ghosty boy. Um, I'll get it, I guess. Right. So he's got a leather skin, and you guys can pick up 10 gold pieces and 11 silver pieces. Yeah, uh, what's his name? Uh, Lasseter isn't afraid of the undead. He's more just like, uh. <laughs> Seems like a nice guy. It's... But he's he didn't dead. intend to be, he just is. You know, it's. should be dead <laughs> I mean at this point he wants to be but apparently something's keeping him here Maybe if you bear a hand it's going to be fine and it, I'm, did he mention where it's which way it's scurried off to or it's just kind of um, it's got a little way through one of the narrow tunnels we came from this way, so maybe there's, it's... there's lots of narrow tunnels around here. So mm -hmm. we'll keep a little eye out. We promise. Thanks. Welcome. I would like to like move on. Learners, help hey. a gnome out. Hey, Karat. You didn't. What happened? Fuck ghost. What happened back there? Fuck ghost. That's what's happened. Oh. Well, same. <laughs> uh. Well, uh, I actually. Uh, remember this area. So, uh, I don't think nothing dragon related is here unless something moved recently I wakes Dustin saying this there is parts we haven't explored yet yeah <laughs> just oh oh there's a there's a cave nearby that we didn't go through uh, up here right here I think if we can get there somehow how long have we been in the caves mm -hmm. probably good four or five hours Jesus I'm sorry Bahamut <laughs> Bahamut tonight uh, it's been a while I need a rest. We've been walking around here for five hours now. Kind of don't even know where we are. Actually, if we went this way, we would be out of the caves. In the West Cliff District. Which would not be a great place for me to go. I... <laughs> it's the whole... We came the other way. I don't know. Y'all want to try again tomorrow? Like go back, go back uh, to the lair. Just... Well, if the if the egg isn't in any sort of immediate danger, I don't see why we could call it a day for now. Correct. Eh, well, if you're, you guys are going, I ain't staying here. All right. Maybe well, we should uh, go back to Thumberchart and see if there's any sort of uh, leads on if, if on the egg's location. Was there a reason why we wasn't going to Thumberchart about the egg? He was embarrassed by it, or something that he didn't want publicly known. Okay. Well, yeah. Uh, let Let's do that. Um. 
go back home, well, to the lair, uh, rest up, maybe tomorrow we'll, or today we'll go to Tumber, Tumber Chard and, um, talk to him. All right, let's go. Not, not that way because our friend here probably wouldn't be welcome. Uh, we can probably try to disguise you. Just, You're just muted know. again, by the way. Yeah. Okay. I, uh, oh. he, like, totally, like, a no to going that way, or you want to no, try to hurry up. We could try to disguise you. One sec. You can go Let's invisible. See. I can't do that anymore today. Oh, darn. You'll see Sarah kind of get her pack and sit it down next to you for a second. Start digging through it. It's like, well, I have these... These clothes here and this, ooh, this makeup would look really good on you. I think this color would really hide. And then, hmm, <laughs> start going through all her options. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I just remembered I have invisibility. And I don't have slot left, so I we could do that. <laughs> Unless you really want to use your disguise kit. Invisibility lasts for. An hour. Oh, an hour. An hour. Oh, okay. It, it won't take you an hour to get that's clip. <laughs> you see her like like a bunch of. It is they, still the Daryl have her. always been even while you were in there before you were they looked kind of hostile to you so you'd want to get through there quickly if anything. Yeah. You'll see her like pull all these things out. She's like, oh. I mean, like someone disappointed, like, okay, and she'll put it back in her pack. Kind of looking forward for a makeup session. <laughs> She's so desperate. Um, yeah, I, I can cast it two times. Um, oh, we should only need one. Yeah. Just right. hurry up yeah. through, through the place. All right. Yep. So you guys head off, head back to the lair through the West Clef District. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. It's one of my slots. So, uh, Blaster turns Brad invisible, uh, and uh, you guys exit uh, via the West Clef District uh, back into Grecklestube proper. Head off through the uh, West Clef District. Eh, pretty in a hurry. Uh, get very dark looks uh the answer is no uh, i will answer that question um and uh you are able to get to the gates flash your symbols and uh get exit and are able to uh are you heading just directly to the lair or what are you doing i think uh, it was later tonight and then December chart in the morning okay so you head off and uh back to Fullborn's Lair, uh, your crew is still around, um, except uh, you do have a note from your Kuito friend uh, saying that he's heard something that happened back in his hometown of Scoopadoop, and he has gone to investigate via the, the boat that he took from the docks. He took a boat? Why didn't he just swim? Cause it's a long way to swim, probably. Did you take a boat? And there's, and there's things in the water that we saw. Well, mm. yeah, that Lasseter saw someone get dragged into or walk into the I didn't water. Dragged. He, he just walked in and then just didn't and come we've, back. We've up. all had something happen to us. We get near the water. So, although you guys did have a beach day. And that was perfectly yeah. fine, except for the fact that Lasser took off his necklace, his his pearly necklace. 
not pearls, but whatever. Um, <laughs> pearl plus. <laughs> uh, yeah, long day. I need something to eat. Damn it, I lost my notebook. I can't remember her name. Uh, name. I don't remember it either. Make up. Rebecca. Lila. Rebecca, Rebecca. Karen. There you go. Linda. Rebecca, uh, hi. I, um, get us some. What do y'all want? Usual? Beans. Beans? Beans. It was Beans? the first thing that I could think of. <laughs> uh, is that a surface dweller? Uh, uh, that surface dweller thing? Because, uh, we don't really have that down here. Got some, uh, grilled rothy? Jose? Give us whatever's on. They'll give you a, 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 a good, hearty, uh, 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 Durgar meal. Thank you. Uh, a lot of fungus. Uh, some type of fish. Um, it's a surf and turf uh, because there's sure some there's deep rothy. No bugs. They. No bugs in the fungus, please. No bugs. You'll see, sir, right? it's kind of like. Twirl our fingers and press digitate it to kind of change the change the flavor, <laughs> the flavor and the smell. Just hmm. it seems passable. We You're able know. to to get a good meal. Ron sees how tired tired Lassiter is. Decides to take it easy for the evening. He only tapped uh, it once that night. <laughs> Stool's there. He's all excited, asking about your adventures. Oh, by the way, Stool, I have a. Have you ever heard of Zukmui before? Uh, no. Not familiar. We found a a group of Mykonids down there, saying that they they worshipped her. I I don't know if you're familiar with with her, but she's. Well, plainly, she's a demon, a demon princess, actually. She she seems to have some sort of hold over them down down below. Uh, yeah. That's weird because I don't know if any of that. Um, how about you didn't really worship the, anybody? How about the lady of the Mike Goodens? That's what I was talking. I don't about. know what that means. Yeah, I, I know, but um, he gave two different names, so. I was yeah. thinking that maybe he heard of the lady of the. No, I haven't. I haven't heard anything about Zigmui uh, or uh, of, of this, our lady. They don't really worship anybody. Yeah. Somehow she's made her way to them down down below. I'm, I'm concerned. Oops. We've already heard about the. Uh, Odd. This, but the Demigorgon, and now about Zuckmoy. It, it, it seems like there's some sort of... What's a, what's a Demigorgon? <laughs> Exposition. <laughs> Gasp. Your things. Um, that's what what was somewhat causing the the people down here to have to grow their second heads. It's weird. Oh, some weirds going on. I think. I I just hope that. But where were these mechanids from? Um. I mean, all I know is it's never like gross, so maybe I'm not using any other place. Never like grow. They're from my hometown? 
<laughs> yeah, they they were your people, I believe. I hope nothing's wrong. Oh, uh, they're they're probably uh they probably belong to someone else now, let's say that. Mm. Oh, mom know. and dad are right. Uh, I... I'd almost want to take you with us next time, but I'm afraid of... You know, I don't want you to get hurt. I, I understand. I'm sure he could take us. I mean, I can do some pretty cool things now, but... I don't know, I'm just... Not as powerful as you guys are. You guys Nonsense. Are. Could throw you into a room and everything just dies instantly. I don't know about that. <laughs> I mean, I haven't really done anything like battle or anything. Well, Seen you guys do stuff, but I hide behind things. That's what I'm good at. I'm okay with that. There's nothing wrong hiding behind things. Especially when, you, when you're not as powerful as you guys. Yeah, I look at Karad. What? He mentioned hiding behind things, and why are you looking at me? Because you don't like bugs and ghosts. Seem seem like you're afraid of things a lot. Thank you. <laughs> it's okay. He gives you a, he gives you he, it uh, uh, gives you a little hug. Thank you, little man. Someone over here I, is being a little rude. I think you're powerful. You shouldn't be scared of anything. It's just a lot of things are new to me. I understand. I know the uh uh, uh the drow captured me. Oh, he's been first. How that happened? Um, well, uh, mom, dad, and I, and a few others were were out uh, foraging, and uh, I, I kind of, kind of wandered off, and and next thing I know, I, I was in a sack. Played snack. The next thing I know, I woke up in a cell. Bunch of the other people. That was mean. Don't worry, I'm reforming him. That's a, a, you are a good influence on him because he hasn't kicked me since. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> I I give Ron a um a disapproving glare <laughs> like upset <laughs> how you kick up <laughs> look I was I was trying to, to, to express my toughness and masculinity I know it was wrong as long as you know it was wrong <laughs> Plus, I kind of didn't like how, how he was trying to cuddle up to me. That was weird. Love you, Grant. <laughs> Just trying to dissuade him away from me. I understand. Uh, uh, it's still never been like uh, 10 feet, Grant. Um, Rebecca, get us yes. all drinks. All right, you're petty for it. Of course, I'll throw down five gold pieces. Okay. Everybody gets a round of drinks. She makes sure that uh, stool gets some water. Uh, 
Uh, last for it tastes like water. <laughs> yeah. You, 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 I'm sure you probably check it first. Be like, this is actually beer because she's she's done this where she's given you water instead of beer before. Uh, and it's beer. Tastes like water. It tastes like anything. You don't get that satisfying burn of alcohol. Just... Might as well order water. It'd be the same to you. It's, it's the idea that counts. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Alright. All going to bed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. After having a nice meal. No, uh go to bed, go to sleep. Um I'm not gonna do this separate. Um Crowd, you you kind of open your eye and just kind of look around. You know, and kind of listen out and don't really hear anything. Uh, you do feel the uh, myconid uh, curled up. So uh, it, do you just like jump out of bed or, or you, you kind of just sneak like, out? Yeah, of... I try to okay. like not wake up the wool and all. And once I get out of the room, I just head up and then to the chambers. Right. Uh, you're able to easily uh, sneak up and, and head off. Head south, it, t it does still take you a while uh, because it's a large city. Uh, mm -hmm. But it takes only about knowing the streets and everything. You're able to easily get there as quickly as possible. Uh, and you um, see a couple of the flames kind of look at you weird. Like, where have you been? Nowhere. Yeah, what are, you, what are you doing? Don't do my duties. All right. Did you need a brush? I got one. Oh, okay. And do you enter into the cavern? And uh, you head up and start. Uh, it, you enter into the. Uh, actual uh horde location where are sleeping on a pile of treasure is a void dragon um he's you see one of his eyes he, he looks like he was sleeping uh but he opens one of the eyes these years and kind of like loops his head god well I haven't seen you in a while. Do you have some uh, some of the scales on my back? I think I can't quite reach it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let me get that. And uh, he he gets he kind of like nestles himself in, enough into the uh, to his treasure to that you can easily like climb up on his back. Back where he, he you do see. Uh, just, kind of gross it's just like muck that's in between some of his massive scales scales this uh can't be comfortable comfortable definitely needs to be cleaned yeah i uh do all that get it done like real quick like as fast mm -hmm. as i can yeah he's like oh mm. feels good you always know how to uh, get the rights Ah, thank you very much. Hmm. Was there something else you're awfully early here? No, just that I just couldn't sleep, so I thought I'd get a crack at the stuff early. Got to hit the forges now and get going. Excellent. Uh, I think I'm due to relight some forges in hours. I suppose it was good to wake up a bit earlier. Mm. Yeah, get, a, get a start on the day. Yeah. Okay, well. You need anything else? Oh, uh, I think I'm good. Uh, and he, he looks over in a corner where there's this, this like pile of 
gross, gross meat. You know, he, he doesn't really care too much about some of his food. He kind of keeps a little stash uh, for snacking, especially for breakfast. Uh, he apparently really likes likes it the next day, just sitting there in his cave. But also, he tends to burn it and chomp yeah. down on it. So. Okay, well, uh, well, I'll, I'll see you later. Um, go, get, go, go hit the forges now. Yeah. Yes, good I'll, work. Good work, Crod. I'll um, head off now. Um, kind of like mosey on mm. back to the lair. Mm. Kind of take my little bit of time and stuff, just so that once every I feel everyone's awake, I'll be in the in the tavern area. Uh, everyone else regains consciousness. Um, a, a, a crowd when you get back. Um, you do see a uh, kind of tired Mike knitted up in the, the tavern, kind of looking around. I was, oh, crad, there we are. Uh, um, I woke up because, I don't know, I, it felt weird probably because you weren't there. Um, where have you been? Where you go? I had I had some duties I gotta go take care of with Denver Charge, and I got I had to ask him some questions and all to help us out for today. Oh, okay. Figured while I'm doing my duties, to see what he knows. <laughs> oh, that's good. Everybody else wakes up. And you start your new day, and actually, only got about twenty minutes. I figure this is probably a good place to stop this yeah, right. and next week we can continue go searching around to the old stone tunnel you mean you're gonna go back there yeah yeah and see if unless, we, or anything. unless we find out that going down there is a complete waste of time all right uh have a good one sorry about all the the thirteen thousand frames that dropped connection. Good night. Uh,